Ladies and gentlemen of the 118 scale, 3.75 inch, 4 inch modern action figure community, I'm back again with another video. And in this video, we're going to be discussing none other than the His Tank Driver. So, the His Tank Driver was released, I believe, back in 1983, exclusively with the His Tank. Now, His stands for High Speed Sentry. And uh, he was later released in 1984 also. I, I believe that's when he became a carded figure that you can get um, just in a card without the tank. And then uh, I believe he was discontinued in 1985. So if you didn't get your hands on him uh, by that time as a kid, you were not going to get him. So let's take a look at his... Uh, file card you can pause and read that there it just gives you a little bit of a backstory about them and it says that these guys are like really evil and they have to take on all this training they have to be masters at uh, all gi joe and cobra weapons they also have to be uh, fang pilots so in order to become a his driver you have to be very uh, versed, very well versed in many uh, different uh, areas of Cobra operations. So this particular his driver figure that you see before you is of the 25th anniversary and was released in I believe 2008. Let's get that to stand up a little better. Here is his card art. So let's go ahead and take a second to admire that. Um, I really think the card art is kind of cool, but he looks very cheesy. He's in a very cheesy pose, and his head is huge. What's up with that head? It's huge. Anyway, it says here, um, Cobra the Enemy is the stamp you see whenever it's a Cobra figure, because remember, all of them are under the G.I. Joe uh, label. Here are your usual warnings, ages 5 and, five and up, or 5+. plus. Uh, choking hazard don't let your children choke on any of this and uh, from the G.I. Joe comic series awesome here's some of the characters that you can expect in that line we've discussed a few of them up here not many it also says here more team members on the way if only they if only we knew that this is only the beginning. This is the 25th anniversary, then the 30th anniversary, Retaliation, Pursuit of Cobra, Rise of Cobra, um, 50th anniversary, if I hadn't said that already. Then you had the figure subscription service, uh, Renegades. Oh, man, I can go on. But anyway, so let's get a look at our His Tank driver here. Well, He's still in his little uh, bubble here. Go ahead and get him out of there. First and foremost, we have what we've come to know as the customized action figure stand with the Cobra logo on the top. And it says here, code name, Cobra Hiss Driver. It's pretty cool. We've seen these before. Hard plastic. Awesome. We'll put that right there. And here you have your His Tank Driver. I think he looks kind of cool. Remember, he's been in that packaging for upwards of 16 years, so probably more. But his movements are pretty good. Awesome. So let's have a look at him. So it says that he has to be a Fang Pilot to drive the his tank. Imagine going to pilot school to get your pilot license just so you can drive a his tank. But I guess that's also 
a probably definitely a testament to just how cool driving a his tank is imagine driving a high speed a high speed tank now um throughout the years there have there has been a few other uh his tank drivers and i'll put some i'll put them down below or not down below actually i'll include some pictures here in this uh video somewhere for for you to look at but in about the year 1989 i believe the his tank 2 was released and the his tank 2 did not have a his tank driver there was a different driver included with the his tank 2 and he was the track viper and i'll put a picture of him here too i think the track vipers are really cool um just a very cool uh, vehicle to have in your collection if you have that. I do not. You know, I kind of keep my collection small. But anyway, moving right along. He only has package with that figure stand. And he has a sidearm. See if I can get that to focus in. I'll try again. Sorry about that. Get that to focus in. There you go. Well, kind of. It looks like a 45. There you go. There you go. That looks pretty cool. Very nicely done. And he has a holster here with a, with a, uh, I guess a cover. Let's go ahead and fit that in there. If we can, come on, get in there. All right, there you go. Does not have any like latch or anything to keep it clipped. Looks like it's it does not have anything to keep it clipped. So, what you see is what you get there. Let's go ahead and put him on his figure stand. So, moving right along. I guess the the his driver was kind of was kind of a a popular character a popular figure. We did see quite a few of them being used in the cartoon series. Um, we got a his driver, quite a few of them. Like I said before, and I'll put pictures and hopefully I've put the pictures already. But anyway, in 1983, 1984, 2008, 2009. 2010, 2012, 2015, we've seen uh, pretty much his drivers being released. In 2010, under the Pursuit of Cobra, well, yes, yeah, the Pursuit of Cobra, we saw this guy, which was, which is also a his tank driver. He was of the Pursuit of Cobra line. Well, since I can't get them to stand up, let's go ahead and do a 360 of them. Here you have here. If you notice from the from the other one, he does not have a holster on his side. He's wearing this body this body armor and this uh, harnessing. He's pretty similar to the original. However, he's done in a different color. And this is your 360 view of him. He's got kind of like the same helmet going on, same, uh, I guess, all the way up to the thigh boots, which is weird, but hey. The Pursuit of Cobra version uh, was packaged with this kind of, this thing's pretty cool. I don't know what it's for. It is some kind of a staff for uh self-defense but who knows i think it's pretty cool though so we'll go ahead and put that right there he has a backpack very small backpack and he has these holes here and i believe these holes in this backpack is for the his tank it actually has some uh, wiring that's supposed to 
I guess, fit into this backpack. Communications. So he has it on the bottom and right there on the back. You can put that there. Pretty plain Jane backpack. And I believe this version also came with a uh, revolver, a rather large one. I guess it was a 357 Magnum. I'm not sure. So that's pretty much a look at the His Tank driver. Um, I do not have a His Tank to show you, but I'll put pictures of them in this video throughout so that we can, you know, refer to refer back to it. Um, overall, I give both of these figures. You know, it's 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 crazy because I like the Pursuit of Cobra version better than the 2008 version. Uh, um, what is it? The uh, anniversary, the 25th anniversary version. So I'm going to say, uh, overall, they're all going to share a grade, and I'm going to give them. Uh, I'll give them a B, just a flat out B. And that's for nostalgia, and that's for. Uh, keeping him very similar to how he looked back in the days. And the reason why I like that is because my collections goes based on the figures that I had growing up. So a lot of figures that I collect in the modern form is because they bring back nostalgia from things I had as a kid. So with that being said, I think I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you all. Um, make sure to join me Friday for the next one. All right? If you got any questions, any comments, feel free, put them down below. I'll get to them at my earliest convenience. Peace.